you know who it is everybody i am back once again and i'm just gonna jump right into this tutorial today i'm showing you how i made my 360 lace frontal wig so this is the cap i'm using it is a middle part cap um, it's all i had but it'll work because in the end you cut off the front of it anyway so i'm taking a 360 lace frontal I'm using my Silky Straight Bundles from 915 Beauty today. And I'm just gonna place this around the cap and pull the hairline just a little in front of the cap because you want it a little in front of your hairline. And now I'm taking my wig pins and pinning that down around the perimeter to make sure it's nice and secure so it doesn't slide back or anything while I'm stitching. And as you can see, the hair is pinned up out of the way, so I can just easily pin it down. So once the frontal is secure, I'm gonna take this clip off and open it up to the inside where we'll be doing all of our stitching. Now most people will cut uh, some of this excess lace off before they start. I chose to leave it up there because I feel like it's just kind of like a, you know, extra sturdy, extra secure thing, you know, just sewing the tracks directly on that. But it actually probably would have been easier to stitch it down if I had cut the lace off first, or at least a little shorter. But I left it, so here it is. So the first thing I'm doing is just stitching around the perimeter of the closure. Um, you can actually stitch closer to the hairline. It really makes no difference because once I start sewing the tracks down, it's gonna secure the entire thing. But right now I'm just stitching it just to get it laying down and flat before I start placing the tracks. So I'm stitching all the way around and then knotting it off and just cutting that string. Now I'm taking it off the head and I'm just gonna cut the uh, front of the cap off. So everything that's, actually not just the front, I'm cutting the perimeter of the cap because this is a 360 frontal, so you don't need all that. You, know, you don't want that net to show under your lace. So just cutting the perimeter. And here's how it looks now. And I'm just gonna sit it right back on the head. So now I'm taking my bundles. Um, I think I ended up using about two, two bundles was like enough. I actually, I may have used a little of the third one, but not very much. Two was definitely enough to get this done. So now I'm just stitching these tracks on how I normally would with any wig. As usual, I'm using the fold over method, so I'm actually not gonna cut these tracks at all. I'm just folding them over and stitching them down for each row.
Okay, now that the stitching is done, all I did was add a few clips to the inside. Now, I bought some of these clips off of eBay, but the ones I'm using on this particular unit, I actually just cut out of an old wig that I no longer wear. So I placed two in the front and then one of the longer ones in the back. And while this helps keep the wig on my head a little more securely, uh, the front doesn't lay as flat as I would like it to, so I'm probably going to add an elastic band um, to this wig later. But for now, I've just been wearing it with these combs. And of course, before you wear it, you cut off the lace. Um, pretty self-explanatory. One thing I did do though was cut out um, ear tabs. So you'll notice I actually ended up cutting into that band a little bit. So I took some thread and just kind of reinforced that to make sure that band didn't start to fall out. And here's the final look. If you're interested in buying these bundles in this frontal, you can head over to 915 Beauty. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Thumbs up if you like this video and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.